Okay, so right now I'm going to be doing a very exciting unboxing. I finally received my Mac Pro. There it is right there, and it's a huge box, weighs like 60 pounds. Um, it's a very big box. Has a you know the Mac Pro graphics on it. it says Xeon 64-bit workstation. It's things like that. So I'm going to start to open it. So we will cut right here. Cut right here. And cut down the center. Okay. So the box is open. The first thing we see right here is this designed by Apple in California. Open this up. We have the keyboard. The extender for it. And the mouse. So that's all good. And it looks to be like that's it inside this box. And next we have the power cable. And the big phone piece. And here is the Mac Pro itself. So that's all for inside this box. And here is the Mac Pro itself. So here is the front of the Mac Pro. We have the power, the uh, audio in, two USB ports, FireWire 400, FireWire 800. Now this is a used Mac Pro. I bought it off eBay. It's not brand new, obviously. Um, so. This is the 2008 model that still has the FireWire 400 instead of two 800s. Um, not that I really care that this is a 2008 because this is still much faster than my iMac over there. That's a 2008 iMac, so this is when I have all the RAM I want in it and the SSD and all the things I put in it. It'll be probably about two and a half times faster than that machine, especially because I'll be putting probably the. Uh, 5870 or no 70 or 6870 because they have a 7 I don't know whatever that one the top of the line Nvidia I'll be putting two of these in because you can put two of the 6870s in Mac Pros you just have to have the uh, Molex power adapters to do so so let's turn the machine now this one I bought is in pretty much perfect aesthetic condition I mean like this is just from shipping, little marks, those kind of, yeah, they're already coming off right there. Um, there's other just, he didn't really clean it before we sent it, I guess. Um, there's only one slight ding. It's right here in this corner, and it's very, very, very small. That's it. Not, I mean, I could care less about that. So let's open the side pan. So, like in the uh, 2008, they hadn't done the redesign yet. So, the 2008 still has this gray area, and the whole panel doesn't slide out, unlike new 2009 and above. And uh, so you still have the two riser cards right here for your RAM. You have two PCI Express times 16s, and then two PCI Express times 4s. But they're all full length slots. And. Uh, so I believe the graphics card inside here is the uh, Radeon like 2600X or X2600. Um, so it's like 256 megabytes. I'll be upgrading that very soon. And for the time being, uh, I don't have the... I ordered a 30-inch cinema display to go along with this. Uh, I used one also. It was about $800. Or 
and that should be coming soon so uh, I'm just going to be using an HP 22 inch until I get the 30 inch which would be way better than any other monitor I have right now so uh, right here we have, it looks like we have two 140 millimeter fans or 120 whichever they are a rear 140 or 120 um, and your processors must be somewhere inside here I'm guessing it's like the newer Mac Pro there's our riser card with the 4 gigabytes of RAM in it right now, it has uh, four ones. But the cool thing is, is this uh, for about $1,400, this came with a 500, a 500, 500, and a 320. And what I'm going to be doing is putting my own 500 in this last slot and doing a, uh, a 4x RAID 0 through these four drives. So that should be, that should be fast, especially because they're all 7200 RPM, 32 megabit cache. Uh, drives and um, it's pretty clean I mean there's a little dust right here but that's expected all machines get a little dusty we got the back of the machine with the two dual link DVI outputs I believe they're dual link because um, this Mac Pro if you had four of these graphics cards would support eight 30 inch cinema displays so they have to be dual link if you're going to do that we have the three USBs one Fire 800 400 optical audio in and out or toshing, however you want to call it. Uh, three and a half millimeter in and out. Dual gigabit 10, 1, 100, 1000, however you want to say it. Uh, in and out, or I believe those are both ends. So that's cool. I've never had a computer with duals. The iMac has a single, but it's a uh, gigabit also. So this should real or respectively be faster. I'm guessing. We have the power up there, and this is like a 900 watt power supply. That's what I've heard it is. So it, it could power two 6870s, no problem. It's just the the power in this machines. Um, there's only two of them, and so we'd have to get the Molex the adapters. And then we have the two optical drives right here. And so I'm pretty, I mean, this thing's, I, it was heavier than I thought it'd be. I mean, everyone's saying it was heavy, but I didn't think, I thought they were kidding, but they weren't. The thing's heavy. It just feels solid, which is very cool. I mean, the iMac's heavy too, but nowhere near like this thing. So I got one, um, it just required a little bit more pulling than I was doing on the hard drives. So this right here is one of the 500. It's a Seagate Barracuda, 7200 RPM. Nice drive. We'll slide that back in. That's really cool. Nice and easy. Let's pull this guy out. One thing I do like that about the 2008 more than I do the 2009 is on the 2009, on all the machines I've looked at, there doesn't seem to be two fans right here. Only one. Um, maybe that's like probably not a big deal. There might be one in that little. I believe there's one in that little compartment thing right here that you can slide back and forth. There might be one in there. But this one has two right next to each other, which is nice. Um, there should be quite a bit of airflow in this machine. And that's one of the things I really want this Mac Pro for is because uh, running a virtual machine and doing just like a Safari on the iMac would push the temps up to like 6 to 8 Celsius and, uh, or degrees Celsius, however you want to say it. And that was with running SMC fan control and the fans going at like 4,000 RPM, that's about the highest you could put them, and it was still running at like 58 degrees Celsius, um, which is way too hot for my, you know, I've been, I was running like it for hours, and I don't really like that. Um, pretty hot, and that's the lowest I could get it. So this should run a lot cooler, I'm hoping it will, I'll, you know, I'll be testing it, see if it does, but it should. It's a much more open machine. Okay, so I've got my own it's Apple. Um, this was a drive off in my, from inside my iMac when I replaced it with a one terabyte caviar black drive. So I'm just gonna be, so now all the drives in here are, are 500 gigabyte, 72 RPM, 32 megabit cache, uh, SATA three or SATA three gigabit hard drives, all 500 gigabytes. So let's slide this guy in here. Those are all good now. 
So we got four times 500 gigabytes. And when I re when I reinstall the operating system, I'm going to do a 4x RAID 0, and I'll see how fast it is using the Blackmagic or yeah, I believe Blackmagic's uh, hard drive testing utility for Mac to see how fast I'm getting off these four rated drives. Um, I don't know what to expect really and I'll be putting it in this video and showing you guys. So that's it for the hard drive part. So this one was kind of a bummer um, and I, I figured that's how it was going to be. In the 2008 IMAX the DVD drives as it just pulls out their their IDE and um, that means I can't I've seen a couple people use SATA drives in replace of their optical drives, which I would have done that. Um, but since they're IDE, I can't. I can't. I could get IDE to SATA um, adapters. I believe maybe it's maybe the only way is SATA to IDE. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to look it up. But um, if anything, I'll just buy some old IDE drives, and those should work. I mean, I have some right now uh, that I could use just to try it out. I have like five IDE drives that are like 120 gigs from older PCs that I've had. And um, so I'll try those out once I get the operating system installed and I don't need this anymore. So it's kind of a bummer. Um, I was hoping it'd be SATA. That's what I get for getting an older Mac Pro, I guess. Okay. It was a tad bit confusing. I had the lip wasn't catching on the uh, the left side over there. My bad. But uh, so it's back in, and I'll try that in a different video once I have everything how I like it. Um, hopefully the IDE drives work. That'd be cool. You know, the more the more space I can get inside the machine, the better. Okay, so and I'm gonna put the side panel back on. That was uh, harder than I expected. Um, they must have redesigned it in the the way the case panel went on, and the new ones must have had like a like a clicking or like you latch on the bottom, and then you pull it forward. Because this one's a little bit different, but oh well, um, it's still easy compared to other machines. So and I'm going to be sliding it back to where it's going. Okay, so what I kind of did was uh, before I had the Mac Pro and I was putting my the shelf up, I measured it and took the dimensions of a Mac Pro, uh, one of friends of mine, and measured it to make sure it would fit. And like keep turning it off to make sure it would fit underneath the uh, the cupboard, and it does. You can see it's got quite a bit of room. So that's cool. I, I knew it would fit. Uh, that wasn't a concern of mine. But just uh, it looks cool right there. Give a little side in the room for air coming in on one side. Uh, I like how it is right there. Looks good. So and I'll be uh, re rearranging my desk a little bit to make room for the monitor I'll be using in the time being where I don't have the 30 inch. Okay, so for the time being, this is how my setup's going to look. I have uh, that HP right there is the one connected to the Mac and the two. I'll probably put that Dell also on the Mac because it has the two outputs and then the iMac just going by itself until I get the 30 inch and when I get the 30 inch all those monitors will go away um, including the iMac and I'll just have the 130 and it will look pretty clean compared to how it's pretty uh, clustery right now but there's the Mac Pro and I'm going to insert Snow Leopard in it and do my raid and get all my stuff set up so it should be good okay so Mac OS X Snow Leopard is installing right now and I have a the 4X RAID and I did a striped RAID you know that's because I'm doing a RAID 0 for best performance and I chose the block size for 128K because I'll be doing a lot of video editing and 128K is best for video editing um, titled it Macintosh HD and the size with four discs is two terabytes. So now I have two terabytes of four rated drives together. And Mac OS X and Upper is installing on that rated drive. And all's good.